When you gave him the $900, what did you say to him? I said, here you go. <laughs> Two dates. So now he says, what, I need some money. I'm kind of short no, money. He, tell the, tell what happened. Through the taxes, uh, he was going to be short on his rent, and he didn't know, you know, how, how, what he was going to do. He's short on decency. Go on. And I knew that I was getting, you know, a settlement, and I wanted to help him. I mean. Stop. <sighs> Stop. When you want to help someone, are you expecting that money back? Yeah, I was expecting it back. I wasn't just, it wasn't just, oh, here, you know, I have It wasn't a, a forever help. It was a, let me help you at this moment yeah, by giving you this. Yeah, and you need this. to pay me back. And do you get that, sir? Yes. So where does a man like you get such a lack of respect for another person mm -hmm. to do this, to put someone in a position where they would literally text after text, I'm going away, don't call me. Oh, I love, my favorite one of your texts was, don't call me for five days. My phone isn't going to work. That's the first sign there's a girlfriend or a wife. You can't reach me for five days. I'm unreachable. No one in the world is unreachable. If you needed another 900 from her, you would have been reachable. And then you, whatever you want, babe. Thank God you qualified that with under $10. <laughs> I love you. Come on. When do you think I can get another payment? And your answer, sir, next week. That week may have come today. All right, the parties are excused while we deliberate in this matter. This courtroom is now in recess. Really sad case in terms of the, the emotional damage that was done here. In terms of the financial damage, I think we have a remedy. Huh. And in my view, that would be a verdict in favor of the plaintiff for the full amount that she's asking. I think it's quite clear that the defendant took advantage of her. I asked him, I said, what is your evidence that this was ever a gift? Do you have any testimony? Do you have a story about her saying that this was a gift? And he had nothing. I'm with you. It's quite clear. Absolutely clear. I mean, she's right. She's not in a position to give away money without an expectation of repayment. Absolutely. And his position, well, back and forth, he recognizes that you could give money and it could be something you expect return for him. And he, in fact, has mm -hmm. been in that place. I feel for her. I think she recognizes that she's a woman of some stature and a good job and that she didn't quite think as wisely here as she could have. But hopefully, in addition to the money, she'll have a lesson learned. I, I don't have any doubt that these were actual loans with an expectation and a promise of repayment. Indeed. Verdict. Excellent. All right, we've reached a verdict. All three of us believe that, uh, Mr. Torres, you took advantage of the plaintiff and we have found in her favor for the full amount of the money that she has asked for, which is $1,400. Ms. Delatore, it's not a sign of weakness to care for someone and want to help them, but you have to be wise about it. You know you have a very responsible position as a professional, and sometimes in our own private lives, however, this concept of love makes us do very, very foolish things. You know, you have to tamp it down a little bit. Hmm? I will. And Mr. Torres, you have a lot of soul searching to do. I think Judge Acker and Judge Domingo hit the nail on the head in terms of their expressing their assessment of your behavior in this case. You know, in, in searching your soul, don't you think that you owe this woman not only the money that you took from her, but you also owe her something else? You understand what I'm talking about? No. Well, you don't understand. But that's the problem, because you're incapable of understanding the damage emotionally that you did to the plaintiff. Don't you feel you owe her an apology? No, for some of the things she said to me, no, I don't. Well, you can't get over that? It wasn't cry. worth the $900 or the $600 that you pocketed? No, it wasn't. Well, there's only so much that we can do. We can restore you financially. We can reflect that what we think that you did was shameful under all of the circumstances. And so the verdict of our court is in favor of the plaintiff of $1,400.